Indian engineers and entrepreneurs. Don't you want your cars, smartphones and refrigerators to have chips designed and made in India? Sounds far-fetched? Not anymore. It is the future and you can make it happen. Wondering how? Let's look at one of the game-changing policies by the government of India, the Design Linked Incentives. In the next five minutes, we will dive deep into how this policy is transforming India into a global chip design powerhouse and startups are leading the charge. Hey Tech Talkers, today we are exploring India's ambitious plans to revolutionize its semiconductor industry through the DLI scheme. This 76,000 crore initiative is set to reshape India's role in the global tech landscape. Let's take a look how it's playing out on the ground. The DLI scheme is a strategic move by the government of India to boost its domestic semiconductor design capabilities. It offers financial incentives and infrastructure support throughout various stages of chip development and deployment. It has three key components, chip design infrastructure support, product design linked incentive, and deployment linked incentive. Now let's look at some of the exciting startups in this area. Sankhya Labs. They are focusing on wireless communications. They're developing chipsets for 5G NR, direct to mobile broadcast and satellite communication. Their innovations could revolutionize rural broadband connectivity. Sensemi Technologies, creating system on chip for IoT and medical devices. Integrating AI inferencing capabilities. Imagine smartwatches predicting health issues before they occur. Fermion IC Design, specializing in high-speed wireline and RF communication. They are developing beamformer core chips for satellite communication. Their tech can make satellite internet a reality in remote areas. Verve Semi Microelectronics, they're working on microcontroller ICs for industrial applications. Their chips could power the next generation of smart factories. Keligo Technologies, focusing on AI and big data solutions. Their innovations could accelerate India's AI capabilities across industries. The DLI scheme aims to nurture at least 20 domestic companies to achieve a turnover of 1500 crores in five years. Secondly, support 100 startups over five years. It's part of the larger 76,000 crore rupee package aimed at semiconductor development in India. As of January 2025, 12 startups have received financial assistance out of 59 applicants. 21 applicants are still under review. While the scheme has made some progress, it has fallen short of its initial target. The DLI scheme is more than just about chips. It's about leveraging India's existing strength in chip design, reducing India's dependence on imports for semiconductors, building supply chain resilience, and fostering innovation and high-skilled jobs. Imagine a future where Indian design chips power the next generation of 5G and 6G networks. Wearable devices with Indian SOCs revolutionize healthcare monitoring. Satellite internet powered by Indian beamformer chips connecting the remotest parts of the country. Smart cities run on Indian design microcontrollers that optimize traffic flow as well as energy consumption. As we wrap up, it's clear that the DLI is a bold step towards making India a semiconductor design hub. While challenges remain, the potential is enormous. And startups like Sensemi, Sankhya or Fermion are leading the way. So what do you think? Is India on the right track to become a semiconductor superpower? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more such tech insights. Bye-bye.